What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be ranking WWE Championships. Let's get right into this. Okay, so the reason why I wanted to do this video is because over the past couple months and over the past couple years, WWE has not only introduced new titles, but also redesigned some of their current ones. And it's always been getting mixed reactions. Some fans like them, some fans do not. I'm going to be taking a look at a bunch of championships from ones from the early 2000s and also some from current. So I chose a good chunk of championships that I'm going to be looking at today and sharing my opinions on and ranking them along the way. Up first is the new Universal Championship. As you can see, it is the blue design. Formerly, it was blue. And I think this basically represents which brand it's going to be on. Whenever it, it was red, it was on Raw, and it's been on Raw ever since. But whenever Bray Wyatt won the championship, he debuted a blue championship belt uh, for the Universal Championship. A lot of people were mixed reactions, but me... It doesn't look that bad. It looks nice since it is going to be on SmackDown, but what I feel like they should have done since the beginning, whenever they first introduced the belts, would have been a black belt, and in the middle of the plates, or on where it says WWE, um, in the center, have that blue or red, or whichever brand it's going to be on at the time, have it that brand's color, but it's still not that bad of championship. I still like it. So I'm going to rank this one 8 out of 10. Uh, I didn't mind the red version, but the blue version, I kind of like it a little bit better. So I'm going to give that the 8 out of 10. Next up is the women's tag team titles, which whenever they were first introduced at WrestleMania a few years back, they got mixed reactions. I honestly don't mind them. They are a nice white belt, which I like how the women's division now are the ones that have the white championship belts. I think they look phenomenal in white, and that goes good with the brand. Um, the championship itself has the gold and the silver. It's basically pretty simple of a belt. There's not much going on. It's not really flashy, which to me, I don't think all the championships in WWE need to be spectacular, need to be flashy. This one here, even though it is simple, it looks phenomenal with the gold and silver. You can clearly say, see that it says tag team. You can barely make out that it says women's tag team. But it does look nice, so I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10. Next, the iconic 24-7 championship. Uh, to me, it is extremely basic. They could have done a lot more to it. What I like is the green championship belts. I think that looks nice. But one thing that I think is a flaw is the fact that it kind of looks like a boxing championship. The straps for the belts are really narrow, but the center plate is really wide. Um, the center plate itself, one thing I like is that it says 24-7 in the green as well. That looks nice, but the championship doesn't look right. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Next is the eco-friendly Daniel Bryan WWE Championship. Whenever it was first announced or debuted, you couldn't really get a good look at it. And for me, hearing that it is a wooden championship, I expected a lot more. I was pretty excited for it. But honestly, looking at it, it looks odd if it was wooden championship with a black belt where it's just the wooden plates or the the plates and the side plates were the wooden parts and it was just a black leather belt to me that would have looked appropriate but the belt literally looks like it's made out of i want to say sandbag material it looks very cheap uh where it's wood i like that it's light and brown wood the um where it would normally be gold on the wwe championship it is the light wood for the WWE logo and around the center plates and uh, side plates. And in the center, it's the dark wood, which I think that looks nice. But what looks and just throws it off for me, it looks terrible, is the blue. I want to say they're blue rocks. I'm not sure 100% what they are. But in the line underneath the WWE logo and around the center plates, those blue rocks, blue and white rocks, they don't look right. They look cheaply done. It looks like an arts and craft thing. It does not look like a WWE Championship, so if they had it with the wooden part, with maybe uh, a black belt, that would look better. I'm going to give it a 3 out of 10, just because to me it looks very tacky. Next is the Cruiserweight Championship, which having the uh, strap actually purple because it represents the 205 Live brand. Now, however, since it's on NXT and it's basically the NXT Cruiserweight Championship, 
having it purple still makes no sense. I assume they're going to be changing it. But as it sits right now with the silver and purple, that looks nice. In my opinion, if it was a black belt with the silver, it still would look nice. And I'm assuming that's what they're going to do in the future. But, you know, this belt right here looks amazing because it represented the actual brand. So I'm going to rank this one a 7.5 out of 10 because I really enjoyed this since it was debuted. Next is the New Day Tag Team Championship. And I'm pretty sure this is just a commemorative championship. I don't think the New Day actually um, used this whenever they're have been champion in the past. As you can see, the center plates are the copper version. So this is like the current tag team championship design whenever it was first introduced. Um, the strap for this one represents the New Day. It has because they're the longest reigning tag team champion in WWE history. That's what the 483 represents, which has since I believe extended because they've been the SmackDown Tag Team Champions after that. And I think the Raw Tag Team Champions. So they're one of the top tag team champions in my opinion. I like that it is the copper plates instead of the silver. The silver would throw it off. I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10 because it is for the New Day. Next is the Iconic World Heavyweight Championship, which I honestly wish the current WWE had because it is a phenomenal looking belt. Having people like Batista, Triple H, The Undertaker have this championship was, was phenomenal. But the current championship, it doesn't have that prestigious look like this one did back in the day. I'm going to rank this one 9 out of 10 because it is such an iconic belt. There's so many phenomenal wrestlers that used to hold this belt that I wish they still had it today. And I hope WWE one day returns it. That would be phenomenal. Next is the WWE Championship from the mid-2000s. Uh, this is one that whenever John Cena won the championship, he redesigned it with a lot of gold and diamonds. I think that was scripted. I think WWE paid for it, but it was scripted as if John Cena did. Honestly, back whenever this championship was introduced and up until it was retired, a lot of people loved it. It looks nice, but looking at it today in 2020, I must honestly say it doesn't hold to what we thought it was back then. Uh, it looks cringy. The shape of it does not look nice. The fact that it was a spinner logo in the center is a little bit tacky. It just looks, honestly, since you can actually tell by this angle of the picture, it was a thick belt. It looks like it would be a really heavy championship to have. Just this championship alone, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10 because of how iconic it was and for how long it represented WWE. But looking at it now compared to the current championship, the current championship, in my opinion, looks a lot better better than this version of it. Next is the ECW Championship. This is the one that I believe was introduced in like 2010 or sorry 0809 up until the ECW brand was demolished at the time. This looked cool that they introduced it as the new main championship for ECW. But honestly, it looks like it is a mid-card championship, something that you would put in along the lines of the United States Championship at the time or the Intercontinental Championship at the time. It does not look like a main championship for a brand. It looks like their mid-card championship. So I feel like what ECW should have done was kept the World Heavyweight Championship for ECW the way that it was. That looked phenomenal. I didn't feel like it needed to change and just introduced this championship as the mid-card ECW championship to give more people in ECW an opportunity because ECW only had one championship. With that being said, I like that it is silver. I like that it's an odd design. I'm going to rank this one a 6 out of 10 just because I feel like they could have done more with it. I feel like it could have been a mid-card championship because it doesn't look like a main championship. And now the current NXT championship. This looks like a main event championship for NXT. I like that they redesigned all the championships whenever they introduced this one. Not only did they redesign the NXT championship, but the NXT women's championship and the NXT tag team championships were redesigned. This here looks awesome. I like that it's all chrome. It doesn't just is, it has like a texture to it instead of just the plain one as the previous championship did. Um, I like that it has the circles on the outside, the design itself, the shape, it, everything looks nice and the black in the center where it says champion and where the WWE logo is, 
That's what current championships should do, where you can barely see that it says champion. They should just have the black underneath just to make it pop a little bit more. This one here, I'm going to rank it 9 out of 10 because it looks awesome and it's a way better version than the previous one. And the last championship I'm going to be ranking today is the current Intercontinental Champion. So as you can see, it looks oddly shaped as well, but for me, it looks nice. Uh, what I don't like is whenever it's on TV, the side plates look like they are in the picture, but whenever it's on TV, the center plate looks almost chrome where you can't make out where it says Intercontinental, you can't make out where it says Champion. It just blends in with the black belts because of the lighting that they use for WWE. It looks odd on TV, but in picture, this belt looks phenomenal. This, what I like about it is the fact that the side plates are interchangeable. So for example, Shinsuke Nakamura held, hold it. Um, he had the Shinsuke plates on the sides. So the fact that they're doing that, like the WWE Championship and Universal Championship, where you can, whoever wins, they can change the side plates. I think that's awesome. It adds a personal touch to it. Instead of having the nameplate with the wrestler's name, having the custom side plates, I think that's a better alternative. The belt itself, it's always been prestigious, the Intercontinental Championship, and I feel like they just upgraded it. Now, the previous one, the white belt one that we all know and love, that one, personally, I didn't feel like anything was wrong with it. It didn't need to be changed. But this does look awesome and it does look like a nice replacement. One thing that I heard for the Intercontinental Championship is the reason they did design redesign it is because Cody Rhodes with AEW, they didn't want any ties with him anymore. And he's the one that introduced or reintroduced the white Intercontinental Championship. So they wanted to redesign it. I don't know if that's 100% true, but the new belt does look phenomenal. I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10 as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below which is your favorite current WWE Championship and which on this list of championships that I shared with you guys did you absolutely not like compared to what I ranked them as. I ranked some things a little bit higher than others. I liked a lot of these belts. Some belts I did not, but uh, for the most part, these belts were pretty cool. I know in the future, WWE is going to continue to redesign championships and introduce new championships. I just hope that they design a little bit better and make the championship actually something that people want to see like they did for the intercontinental championship but for the 24 7 championship whenever they introduced that it did not look right so i'm gonna leave this video here hope you guys did enjoy please take care peace